come in. And it's been a good, uh, okay morning, I guess. Yeah, it's snow and ice rain and everything combined. And uh, I had something really interesting happening this morning as I was leaving at Nipigon, Ontario. I had never actually had this happen before to me where a uh, four-wheeler tried to pass other vehicles and uh, I was just coming around the bend and uh, there he is trying to pass the other guy <laughs> and he couldn't get over to the other lane because the other car was right beside him right and so he took the ditch instead and I got that all on dash cam I believe I haven't actually uh, had time to stop and uh, and uh, check it out to see if it actually caught on dash cam but my dash cam was on so uh, I assume that it is going to be on dash cam so what I'm going to do is uh, after this I will probably put that video in there and then you can see for yourself uh, it's just one of the bonus of having a dash cam you know uh, you get to capture uh, all kinds of weird and interesting things sometimes you know and today it just seems to be one of those uh, I guess an interesting Saturday morning, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm driving along with uh, with another guy here that works for the same company, and uh, yeah, so we're just driving along. And all the roads are good, but uh, earlier we had quite a bit of snow, and uh, there was quite a bit of uh, snow on the road and everything. But then after that, it started warming up, and then we started getting a little bit of ice rain. But right now it's not bad. Right, the roads are okay now, so. Uh, yeah, so we're cruising along here now, and uh, hopefully I'll make it past Winnipeg today. Uh, I uh, talked to my wife there a little bit ago, and she said it's snowing like crazy in Steinbeck, so, uh, and I'm going by Steinbeck pretty close to it anyways. It's probably only, yeah, about 20 clicks from home where I'm going by, so on Highway 1 there, so... Uh, so yeah, that's uh, going to be interesting, uh, interesting day today, but uh, oh well, it's winter, winter is here I guess. But yeah, so uh, we'll keep on rolling and uh, we'll see what the day will do for us. to the Flying J up here in uh, Winnipeg, Manitoba. Just actually filling out the logbook over here. I finished uh, finished fueling up and uh, taking a shower, shaved and brushed my tooth, everything like that. So I'm good to go. Grab me a couple of slices of pizza. Now I am all set to go. Yeah, probably uh, trying to go down to Manadosa tonight. We'll see how far I actually get, but 
that's the plan for the night anyways it was really really super cold over here outside the wind is blowing really hard and uh, it's supposed to get really cold tonight with the wind chill so uh, I figured I'd fuel her up put some uh, kerosene in there because that's what I usually put in there if I put anything uh, any kind of additive in there for for the winter you know because I believe in that stuff some of you guys may not but I do and I think kerosene is a lot cheaper than uh, any kind of fuel additives that you can buy at the truck stop you know so uh, and that's worked every time for me so far so uh, guess what that's what I'll be using but uh, but yeah so I uh, I'll get going here hope uh, Hope the wind won't be too bad, so the roads won't be too bad or, uh, until I get to where I need to go, but uh, anyways, I'll be back a little bit later. Alrighty, I have officially made it up to uh, Manadosa, Manitoba, rest area, and I'm done for today. Got me a thousand and forty-four kilometers in today. It's another really, really good day. And I think I got, uh, uh, just looking at my GPS, looks like another 1100 kilometers for tomorrow. And then I will be in Edmonton. So uh, hopefully the weather will hold up again tomorrow. Uh, I got a little bit crappy there here and there a little bit today, but other than that it was okay. We had a good day. Made it here uh, 15 minutes before our 16 hour clock. You know, I'll not as I didn't do as many hours of driving uh, in a straight stretch today than I did yesterday. Like yesterday, I only stopped once in between. Today, at least I went and uh, stopped for breakfast. Uh, met up with one of our other drivers and had breakfast together, and then uh, then we went to Winnipeg and uh, fueled up over there, and went and took me a shower and had me uh, had me some dinner up there, and uh, here I am made it up to uh, Manadosa so we're calling it a day so uh, hopefully tomorrow will be a good day as well as today was and we'll be able to make it up to uh, Edmonton tomorrow that will be uh, that will be nice I've never done that in three days so far so uh, never ran that hard and uh, all this time I've been driving trucks so uh, I guess about time I do I suppose but uh, you know, we'll see what happens on Monday we'll see what kind of reloads we get but uh, other than that uh, I don't have anything else so I guess I'll call it a day we'll see you again tomorrow at 5 a.m. <laughs>